Hi everybody, Dr. Cobb back with you. Hope you're having a great week, like I always say. Today we're gonna to talk about hanging out for better shoulders. Um, I wanna go a little deeper into some of the exercise stuff that we teach, and again, what I'm gonna talk about today is actually kind of an old school remedy for chronically bad shoulders. There's a lot of stuff that goes into this, uh, but it's incredibly simple, it's easy to teach, and amazingly effective for a lot of people with chronic shoulder deficits. Now, uh, this is gonna be a little unusual because I'm not gonna talk about the eyes and the inner ear and all the other stuff. We're gonna get a little bit mechanical on you. And I want to talk about your shoulder blade. The shoulder blade is called the scapula. Now, there's a, some interesting stuff about shoulder design. So if you watch the, the shoulder blade on this particular skeleton, as my arm begins to elevate, or as his arm begins to elevate out to the side, as if he was going to reach up overhead, if you watch the bottom part of the scapula, you see it begin shifting toward me. Okay. Now, if I go fully up overhead with my arms, that the shoulder blade needs to have the freedom of motion to rotate up and out. If it is locked in place, what happens is as the arm comes up, you wind up getting what you may have heard of as impingement, where the shoulder is being kind of forced up uh, into the bones that lie above it. So there's, again, old school remedy for this is actually called relax hanging uh, from a bar. So I'm going to talk to you a little bit about how to do this. Uh, it's something that I do with a lot of regularity, very, very powerful and very useful. Like I said, if you've got chronically bad shoulders, this is one you're going to want to remember and send to people um, because, again, it's super easy to do. Now, to make this happen, you're going to need to have some place to hang on to. If you have really bad shoulders and you can only go about this far, you're going to have to go very carefully. So I don't want you to do anything that your healthcare providers have said don't do, uh, but be sensible, stay away from pain, uh, but let's just talk this through. Uh, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to grip this bar above my head and the goal with this particular exercise is to begin to straighten the arms and then watch. I'm going to relax and let my shoulders come up by my ears. A lot of times in the fitness industry people say, you know, if you grab something keep your shoulder blades down and back. Well, this is actually a problem for people if you cannot let them move correctly. So my feet are still on the floor so that I'm nice and supported. I'm relaxing, I'm letting my shoulders come up by my ears, and guess what I'm gonna do from here? I'm just gonna hang out. Like I said, hanging around for better shoulders. So on the whole, the goal would be to get to the point that you can hang freely. So in this case now, I'm, my arms and, and shoulders are relaxed, my feet aren't on the floor, so I'm just hanging here. And what you can see is that my shoulder blades are being stretched wide, and it's also creating some space within the shoulder joint. What I encourage people to do is work up to five minutes per day of just hanging around. If you've got bad shoulders. If your shoulders are generally healthy but you train them a lot in the gym or you play tennis or do other stuff which could cause problems, try to get at least two minutes of relaxed, carefree hanging every day. Now, the big problem that a lot of people run into is their grip because their grip will fatigue very quickly. But it's perfectly fine. If you can only be here for 10 seconds hanging out, 10 seconds is what you get. You can do supported hanging. In the beginning, I'm keeping my feet on the floor, and I'm only taking as much weight in my hands and shoulders as I comfortably can bear. So what will happen over the course of usually one to two months, your grip strength will improve, you get much better, more flexible, uh, and more comfortable shoulders, and ultimately it's also pretty good for your spine because it acts as a decompression process as well. So there you have it guys, old school today, good biomechanical exercise, uh, give it a shot if you have any questions around this, how it works what it can do for you, or anything about the protocol, let me know. Thanks.